All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Just loaded up the kayak and uh, we're gonna take it down the road and uh, toss it in the river and get out and see if we can get on a bite today. Uh, I haven't fished uh, the river in uh, probably about a week and a half and uh, that's because it's been so terribly windy blowing like 20 to 25 and finally this morning we've got uh, like not a breath of wind out here and it's uh, glass calm on the river right now and I think we might have some stormy weather uh, later this afternoon so uh, we're just gonna send it and uh, make a day of it and see what we can find. Look at these conditions right now. It is like glass out here. Whew, I'm excited. And uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning right now. I was hoping to get out at first light, but I put a 12 hour day in yesterday. So I was a little groggy and tired and kept hitting the snooze button this morning. And uh, we eventually found a bite yesterday, but the fish made me work for it. And uh, before we head out there, uh, huge thanks to Navalis Apparel for sponsoring today's video. And about a month and a half ago, they sent me out a couple buffs, a shirt, and a pair of shorts. And I slowly fell in love with it and decided to partner up with them for this video. And 95% uh, of their apparel is actually made from bamboo, which is something different that I, I've never you know, worn before. And uh, I really like it. It's extremely comfortable and ultra soft. It's odor resistant, uh, even though I like to think I don't stink that much. Maybe after I'm fishing, I do stink a lot, but <laughs> you can't really stink out, you become nose blind. Anyway, it has a UPF rating of 40 plus to help protect from the harmful UV rays. And uh, I also really like it because it's more like cool and clean cut versus like some of my other uh, you know, fishing apparel that I wear, uh, you know, my Fishaholic shirt included, uh, like that has the big Fishaholic logo on the back. Uh, you know, it's not really that showy that's like, here I am, I'm a fisherman type apparel. So uh, I like to wear Navalis out to say just the bar or on a date or getting dinner or something like that. It's very casual and uh, I, I really love it. So if you're interested in checking out uh, Navalis apparel, I'll put the link down in the description and a code so you can save at checkout. Now, anyway, let's get out there and catch some fish. Hopefully we won't have to put a 12 hour day in, but I'm prepared to do so. Might have to starve myself for a little bit cause I only have two granola bars, but let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's pretty close to high tide right now. Still got a little bit of incoming, it looks like. But uh, this water is really pushed up. So I'm gonna start by just working along the sea walls and uh, near the, the base of the docks that meet the shore. And uh, I'll start by throwing around uh, this Yozuri spook. And we're gonna walk uh, the dog a little bit and see if we can get some nice bites. Right there. I've hooked into a big snook before and then he respectfully gave me the fight of his life and broke me off on one of those pilings. That was like when I first moved down here and was fishing the area. But I did come back at night and I caught a nice 32 inch snook on this same dock. And that one, we got in the kayak. All right, well, pretty slow so far. It's been uh, about 30 minutes and uh, not even a single swirl. And right now we're going across this flat and uh, I'm looking for, you know, snook or jack, but also trying to see if there's any bait here that we could catch. There's one right there. Look at that, look at that right there. Oh, dang. 
saw him real tight to the rocks and he was interested but he just didn't you know bite it and i ran out of space come on fish come on oh there was one huh. another non-committal interest Got a, some kind of blitz going on right here. I have no idea what kind of fish these are. Oh, there was a bite. Oh yeah, there was another bite on the spook. Oh man, these are all jacks. They're busting on little rain bait. Oh my gosh, look at this, this is crazy. <laughs> wow. The bite is kind of slowed, but they're still busting here. Got one to eat the fluke. All right, sweet. Got the skunk out of the kayak finally. They're not big. I think I may have seen, I saw a couple that were a little bit bigger than that, but that was still really cool to see them blitzing on like little tiny inch or two inch long rain bait. All right, so I just put on a fresh new little zoom super fluke. I took a few more casts and no other bites. So I'm just gonna tie this up for a little bit until maybe we see some more smaller size fish feeding on top. And I'm going to keep throwing the Ozuri and I think I'm just going to work up river and fish the next like three docks that we got here. And if nothing, or even if we do catch something, then I'm going to do a full 180 and uh, swing back around and head back down river. Oh, there was a bite. Oh, monster snook just followed the Yozuri in. Dang, dude. He was sitting right along this, uh, uh, you know, sandy and dark bottom color change. There's a good fish. Yeah. Finally, big snook on the spook. Oh yeah. Nice fish right there. Woo. Oh, I gotta put the drive in reverse. He's towing me, right? towards that dock. Oh. Oh. oh, he dodged the net. Gosh, this power from the snook is crazy. There he is in the net. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, found ourselves 
A nice fish. Oh, look at that. On the Yozuri. Sweet. I've got my new uh, shallow water anchor here. I'm gonna just pin us down so we can manage this fish, snap a picture, and uh, then get a good release. What's crazy is just moments before getting this bite, we had a follow from a similar size fish, but that spooked. I wonder if uh, it was the same snook that you know swam away and then you know, we put it in front of him again and uh, then he whacked it. All right, Yozuri is out. Oh, let's get this big girl back in the water. Give her a nice healthy drink. It's probably a solid like 34 inch snook. That's 35 right there. Whew, beautiful fish. Oh, and there she goes, kicking off strong. All right, let's hop back in. See if we can find another like that. So uh, the setup that I'm using today for throwing this Yozuri top water is uh, my seven foot medium heavy fast action spinning rod paired with my number five visser, which is spooled with 20 pound green moss power pro braid. And I'm using a 40 pound floral carbon leader tied direct with a loop knot to our plug. All right, well, uh, I just fished every inch of this third dock where we got the 34 inch snook and no other bites. And uh, I'm looking at the sky and noticing that we're starting to get some stormy looking clouds heading this way. So we're gonna start working our way back uh, down river. That looks good. Oh, beautiful cast right in there. Oh, no, that's the skip. Should at least get a bump if there's a fish here. There's one. Nice fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it. Go away from the dock. Oh man. Only got a 30 pound floral leader on this lighter setup. Oh no, baby. Oh, I should have had her right there. The net slipped out of my hand. Take a look at this girl right here. A long and skinny one. And she's gonna measure probably about 32, 31 maybe. So sick. This fish slammed the four inch fishaholic finback shad. And that was a really epic fight 
on some really light tackle, only a 30 pound leader, uh, seven foot uh, medium fast, dark matter, fishaholic, inshore series spinning rod, and a 4,000 Iowa Certate. There she goes. All right, well, uh, I fished my way all the way back and uh, we had one more snook. That was about uh, like 20 inches, but uh, I forgot to press record. So I didn't capture it on film, but that's okay. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, if you are interested in any of the Navalis apparel, I will put the link in the description and a code to save at checkout. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more uploads. And until the next video, live to fish, fish to live.